Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you guys a really quick chicken enchiladas. Um, and so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so in a bowl I have some roasted bone-in skin on chicken thighs. Um, I put them in a crock pot, I took the skin off, um, and I put them in the crock pot with garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, and dried onion too, and dried garlic. And if you can see, there's the seasoning is still on it. I made it a very thick seasoning. I roasted it till it was done and I peeled it off the bone and I kind of shredded it and put it in a bowl. Um, I put two big dollops of sour cream. I'm gonna do three cans of cream of mushroom. This is what that looks like. And then I'm gonna do two cans of green chilies. Just di Oh, try not to drop them in your bowl. Just diced green chilies. Okay, that is what that looks like and then I'm gonna do some cracked pepper you can freshly crack if you want and then we're just going to go ahead and mix this up so this is just optional but I'm gonna take some spray and I'm going to go ahead and spray my pan and kind of let that sit for a second you don't have to do that it just makes it easier to cook or I mean to clean and then there's our mixture I've got a can of green chilies on the side I put two in I got one on the side um, and then I've got my cheese ready to go for the layering and so I'm gonna make my tortillas real quick so I have a pan with a little bit of oil and all I'm gonna do is throw my tortillas around warm them through and then throw them on top of hold on let me get this on here Throw them on top of this to soak up some of the extra oil. So when I get like a stack of them, I'll come back. So this is why you want um, a little bit of oil because when you fry it, it won't be so greasy and they're less likely to fall apart when you're wrapping them. See, they're more pliable. So a little bit of oil at each time goes a long way. So look how this is picking up. And then once they dry a little bit, they're just very easy to roll with. So all I do is I put a little bit of oil and then I'll take my tortilla and then I kind of like move it around to the least oily part of the pan and then I'll put the last one on the most oily part. So they all get a coating. And then it just takes a few minutes and then you flip it. And I love my big pan because I can do four at a time. And if you do a lot of oil, they're more likely to fall apart. It doesn't matter because they're still pliable. They're just more likely to fall apart, but you're gonna eat them anyways, so. Oh say, oh, say, okay. So the quickest way that I have found to assemble these is to kind of layer a few down the pan and then you can pull them together and like kind of roll them a little bit. But this is like, so I can do this with one hand to show you. I don't want to go get my stand right now. Um, so I'm just gonna make sure I get chicken inside of there. I'm gonna throw those in just like that. You guys, this is so good. My mouth is watering. There are white chicken enchiladas and then there's green chili chicken enchiladas. You can call these green chili if you want to because there's lots of green chili in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and just kind of fold them over, roll them up if you can. And then um, after we're done filling these, the sauce is gonna fall through the crevices of these as well. And you're just gonna kind of push them Sorry, I'm trying to show you, it's very hard. To the edge. So let me feel a little bit more of these and then I'll show you what it looks like. So give or take, I did about 24 to tortillas. I didn't count, but I just tried to count. Um, and I had five pieces of chicken, um, of the boneless skinless chicken thighs, um, tossed into this. Um, so it made about that much. And what I'm gonna do with the rest of this filling is put it on top. You can always make more, but I like this seeping down into it. Um, instead of this step, you can go ahead and put on um, some uh, green enchilada sauce if you want, but this is what I like to do, so. Okay, so all I did was put it on and spread it out, so you can see all of that seasoning throughout the mixture. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put my green chilies on top, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the whole can. Um, if this happens to be too spicy for your kids, you can just serve um, some sour cream on top, which is what we usually do anyways. Um, and it will take that heat factor down. And then you're just gonna wanna kind of try to evenly spread it out. It looks so good, guys. I can't wait to eat this for dinner. Um, and I just did one layer, sometimes I do a few, um, but I actually, I'm actually loving how I did it this time. It's probably one of the best times 
that I've made enchiladas. It just looks so good this way. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some cheese on top, but my hand's dirty, so hold on. Now on the inside of these, you can also put cheese, um, but because I only did one layer, I'm just gonna do the top of cheese. And I am going to be very, very generous with the cheese. I want the cheese pool when I eat this. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen, but sounds good, doesn't it? So I'm gonna go ahead and put cheese all over the top of this and make a mess with it, um, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I put a pretty thick layer of cheese because I didn't stuff cheese inside. If you stuff cheese inside, just do a thin layer. Um, and then I did some fresh cracked black pepper on top. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cook this in my oven at, um, when it's dinner time, it's not dinner time yet, but when it's dinner time, I'll cook it at 425 until it's heated all the way through and bubbling. Um, I'm gonna keep it covered till it is too. So there you go, there's my chicken enchiladas. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell, and talk to you guys later, bye.